everyone, my name is Nelly and today we're going to talk about chain abstraction under Near Ecosystem. Fear warning, this might seem a bit complex at first, but bear with me. This is worth listening to if you want to catch up on the latest alpha. You definitely don't want to miss this one. Now, Web3 has often been caught in maximalist thinking, with fierce loyalties to blockchain like Bitcoin and Ethereum. But as we move forward, this mindset needs to change for open web to truly evolve. The maturity of blockchains and their infrastructure like those in Ethereum is actually reaching a crucial inflection point. The technology behind them should become invisible to users, which is actually a key philosophy in building near 2.0. Now, chain abstraction is built on a simple assumption. Users are not focused on the underlying blockchain. Instead, they are looking for value in the open web. Values such as security, economic opportunities, global identity, and so on. The goal here is to remove the need for users to switch networks, to sign transactions on different chains, or to spend gas on yet another chain, which can become quite expensive. Now, for the very first time, users can interact with any dApp decentralized application from any supported chain using any token, all without leaving the same UI user interface. Later in this video, I will actually show you one of the dApp on Near Protocol on which you can actually interact across 15 chains on the same interface. Wow. Now, as far as developers, the focus is a bit more expensive as they are more focused on tapping into the largest market possible, launching their project quickly, and of course, the security, longevity, and flexibility of their chosen platform. And now let's talk about my own experience. Like many users, at first, I actually struggled with the complexity of keeping track with different chains. It's actually hard to follow your portfolio on EVM chains than on a non-EVM chain. It's exhausting and it's a time saver to experience crypto with chain abstraction. Imagine even the simple need to change from one application to another. It's a real example of one of the most common pain points that we currently face in the Web3 space. Now, the introduction to zero knowledge, ZK, brings a new approach to ledger security. Now, a computer can verify compliance with certain rules and conditions without actually needing to access underlying data or details of that transaction. Basically, what this means is that ZK Prover plays a big role in chain abstraction. Zero knowledge proofs are like a security tool that lets different blockchains talk to each other safely. They make sure that when you send something from one blockchain to another, it's still secure. Think of them as a kind of universal language that all blockchain can understand, making it easy for them to work together and check each other's transaction without needing to know all the technical details. This makes transaction across different blockchains much safer. Now let's get into account abstraction. Nier is actually making significant strides in this area with their development of multi-chain fast auth, fast authentication. This innovative feature actually allows Nier addresses to interact seamlessly with EVM, Bitcoin, and other chains, vastly improving user experience. That's a great thing. For example, fast auth, right? And uh, is right now works on near and creates near accounts but the next stage will be to kind of also create so we call them like remote accounts on other chains so you can start like as you onboard through this uh, funnel you can start interacting on other chains as well so imagine soon from your email you'll be able to create your near address from which you'll be able to transact on bitcoin Ethereum or any layer two. And if the concept of account abstraction appeals to you, I'd love to hear from you in the comments which blockchain you choose to first use with your fast auth, fast authentication account and your reasons for your choice. Now, the vision for an open web is becoming a reality. Users can have a unified identity across all chains with the ability to move assets freely. This user-centric approach is at the heart of Nier's ambition, simplifying interactions across different apps and chains. And as promised earlier, there's one dApp decentralized application on Nier that actually allows you to access DeFi apps from over 15 chains on one single front end. It's called DapDap. Now, I've used it to farm many airdrops such as the Lena one. You can do on there is absolutely wild. It's an all-in-one. 
So you can play with composable dApps, meaning you can swap, you can bridge, lend and borrow all on the same page and seamlessly. This saved me a ton of time. So instead of doing some research for the new apps, I would just go on to DapDap, scroll through all the supported chains and look for the first integrations. It's amazing. I don't know about you guys, but do you realize with the rising number twos in DeFi protocols, discovering application in new ecosystem has become a real pain point for users. Imagine having only 30 minutes a day to go through DeFi Llama, CoinGecko, then select the app, connect the DeFi app. Definitely not sustainable in the long run. So here comes chain abstraction for massive adoption. It's a huge breakthrough in making DeFi decentralized finance easy and approachable for everyone. It doesn't really matter how busy you are or how much about technology you know. Abstraction makes it straightforward to use different crypto services all in one place, which eventually saves you a lot of time and hassle. And that is always a welcome. Now, in a world where time is precious, apps like DapDap shines as a tool that makes the experience simpler, helping more people to get into crypto and DeFi using it as part of their everyday life. Now, do you want to dive deeper? Well, check out these resources for more information. Blockchainforbeginners.com, near.org, and our Web3 Explainer series. Remember, the future of Web3 is about making the complex simple, inclusive, and user-focused. And thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Tap that notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest updates. And we would love to hear your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Banyan channel for more delightful insights. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.